Mara why? Mara why is the question. This is a new series by Lieutenant Major Swifty, so I'd like to say welcome to all you ladies and gentlemen. Please like and subscribe and share and then let's get into the video. If you are tuned in, this is a short introduction to Star Wars Outlaws and the outrage that is going on on the internet right now. I am about to explain from my point of view as a solo game dev and gaming aficionado why I think this is all happening. As of late, Ubisoft has had a very very sketchy move around its customer base because as of late it is producing games that really aren't as of its normal standard I would say because we know it's got the Assassin's Creed franchise right up its pocket but at the same time it's been deviating from one place to the other not knowing how to land the IP but now it has Star Wars at first when I saw the trailers at the beginning I was really really hyped as you can see they have amazing worlds to work with and they have a plethora of planets to go around an open world that has a lot to offer but at the same time they have a lot of limitations as well because we know this is Ubisoft and their most recent scandal is that they're charging full price for a game and that they want you to pay that full price for that game and get screwed at the end when you get the subscription on top of that because they want you to feel like you're not getting the full experience but I mean this is a AAA game why do they need to add these extra things onto the game when they'd be doing just fine just selling the game itself I mean I'm kind of on the fence when it comes to Star Wars Outlaws as a whole I have had my history with Star Wars games I am a Star Wars fan going back from the old movies till now and I will say I've played most of every game that has come out I don't trust this that's going on there's a lot of marketing hype going on and as of recent as we've seen a lot of marketing hype that goes behind these big IPs and these big games usually falls flat on, f on deaf ears because of the state of the game itself. Case in point, Justice League as of late, the recent Suicide Squad game killed the Justice League, oh my god, I even call the Justice League by mistake. But at the same time, let's get this straight. We are in a stage of game development where the landscape is changing but the AAA space is scrambling to find something that will work and they cannot find it. And however they have not learned from their in indie peers like Power World and their AA peers like Hell Divers doing the same thing. And I mean the Hell Divers is pretty much a AAA game in my eyes, you know, and I would love to join the struggle for Super Earth. But for me to even say that, and I don't even own the game, shows you how the direction of that game has actually pushed it into the right framework. So I implore all these games and all these game developers and you Ubisoft to please, please rethink what you are doing and try and do the right thing because you've had the right way of doing things for a long time. And now you're fumbling the bag because you want more money. Don't follow the greed. Follow the art that will pay out the best. I mean, look at things like The Witcher. Cyberpunk even made a comeback from what it did because they were really passionate about the game that they were trying to make. So really, follow, follow the models. Don't try and create one that's going to blow you in the foot like your cryptocurrency situation that you did not so long ago let's not forget let's not act like that didn't happen but anyway that's me lieutenant major swifty and i hope you guys all tuned in and you know how i end this more power to 